One thing I know about this life is that I can wake up each day and not know what to expect. A lot happens in this episode. A few retreats, my plans for 2023, a laundry day that turns into coconut hunting, a glimpse into the vertical blue freediving competition, and our time crunch to provide dinner for all the athletes that participated in the competition. I hope you enjoy this fun and busy time. And as always, I appreciate your support, especially patrons, and thank you so much for subscribing. We get in Kenny's van. <laughs> we get in Kenny's van, and um, you know we're just cruising along, and he's you know he's real cool. Like all of a sudden, like I start talking about a conch salad because I heard it's like really common here. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like talk starts talking about like his restaurant that he has. What was it called? Seaside. Mm-hmm. Seaside, seaside bar something like that and I was like oh, okay he's like you guys should come and I was like oh, we have you know we have to go to the marina they're picking us up at three and I was like um I was like you should bring it to us like I was like okay you have a conch salad bring it to us conch one o'clock salad. kind of thing he goes okay like he was just really cool mm-hmm. he goes why don't you um you guys want to just stop and we can yeah. we can just get you some salad conch salad and I was like we were like, yeah, okay. So he turns around and we go back to his place of business. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then no, it's like goes, an actual it's restaurant. Like, yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, it's, it's such like, a vibe. Yeah. It's so cool. I mean, out of all people, we met the actual guy who owns the yes. actual place where they make fresh conch salad. Literally, he literally from in scratch. Front of us, from I took pictures of and everything. It was, no it was the best. I've never had a conch salad. And all these people started. What is that? There you go. You want me to do a headstand too? Sure. (laughs) You'll thank me later. Yeah, like look into the wind. (laughs) Yeah. Over my head. Yes, like this. Okay, and then go into the cartwheel. And then, <laughs> sure, or you can you jump round off. Round off back handspring. What's that? Round off back handspring. You can- On our way to the blue hole for day three. Day four. four. Day four. <laughs> final day, final day. Yo. This is the best way to ride around here. Speaking an Australian accent right now. 
quad over here. Wow, look at this thing go! There it is. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? This is the calmest day we've had since being here, I think. So nice. But today is also laundry day, propane. I'm gonna try to get a photo shoot over, like way over there. And it's lobster season, so maybe a little spearing to take advantage of this. So a little update. Um, I just planned my 2023, finally, and, uh, hey, he's being a freaking tear. Hey, no. 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 <laughs> no. Hey, no. Come here. My January is pretty open. I have some people who want to come on long term. Mid to late February for four weeks, if we have enough interest, five, we are going to do hammerhead trips out of Bimini. We'll be in a dock, so have AC and all that stuff at night, which is gonna be different for me and, and get me a lot of practice docking this boat. But then we're gonna do that and then I have April free and then I'm going to leave the Bahamas um, this is the plan as of now we all know things change but I'm gonna leave the Bahamas and head down to the Caribbean I have never sailed past Puerto Rico I think it'll be a really good trial run before I head to the Pacific so I think next July end of July I'm gonna take off to the Caribbean. I don't know anything about cruising there. I don't know, I'm super nervous, super excited. Things could always change, but I think it'll be a really good trial run for me to take the boat to somewhere I've never been, because I'm still pretty close to everything here. And, um, and it's a great cruising ground, and the islands aren't far apart. And then I'll make my way back up, do the Bahamas, who knows, time frame on that. Hey. I forgot what I was going to say. My go distracted me. Mm. If anyone has any tips for the Caribbean, places you've been that you've loved, um, I'm open to everything. Um, oh, that's where I was going. Since I'm going to be gone for so long on the boat, when I go back to Florida this time, I'm going to be doing a lot of boat work. Um, the bow is a huge priority just between what Puerto Rico did um, and thank you guys always um, patrons you just helped buy my new anchor that fell off last week two weeks ago so thank you um, that should be on its way soon Mako hey it's smoothie time, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Well, Mako likes smoothies if you want to send him any treats. <laughs> he doesn't like temptations, but he likes smoothies. We have one day that we can take the propane. So, yeah. We got in the dinghy and storm decided to roll through. We still have to do laundry and all that. We're laughing how we came completely prepared for this. Neither of us have shoes. We're about 30, 20 to 30 minutes from the boat. We and got water. We did grab the GoPro and Allie bought water. And? And we just found coconuts as we're walking along the street while our dryer, while our clothes are drying. So, little, little, little wins. wins. I feel like this is, it actually works. Yeah! Oh! Woohoo! There's water. Yes. Baby coconut. 
Maybe not solo. Woohoo! It's the little things. <laughs> We're going back to our basics. <laughs> My paleo was like vibes here. Mmm, that one's empty too. Don't mind us. There's definitely meat in them. We got our first lobster of the season today. Woo! We went diving pretty much as soon as everyone got on and then saw nothing. And then Allie was very determined for us to get <laughs> something today. <laughs> so we went out again for 30 minutes and got two lobster and have lobster pasta. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we are on our way to the blue hole. This is new. We had our last guest get off yesterday for retreat four, and now we have two full, two and a half days to catch fish for the entire competition party. But there are world records being attempted in about 20 minutes, so we're gonna go and watch and then catch some fish. to get Bluetooth on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pairing unsuccessful. What is good? How are you? <laughs> so nice. Yeah. So I got to like the airfield or, or to the airport, just the normal airport. Yeah. And they're like, 
like, hey, you were the only one who booked a flight today, so no. we're gonna like, we're gonna put you on. They this gave me the name of a pilot and the airfield it was going to. And so I was like, okay, this is either gonna be great or like I'm gonna take it. Never knows exactly where to take you. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> so for the next like 45 minutes, we were just stopping at every single oh uh, my god little, like private gate. And is Louise flying out of here? And they're like, no, no. And finally someone was like, oh yeah, Louise. Oh my God. Riley, and I was like, I mean, yeah. He's like, all right, you're, you're, we're taking off at one. We just had a epic spearing mission. Um, I did forget my GoPro, but we're gonna go clean them all. And yeah, so we will bring you along for that one. Um, this is amazing. Like, I didn't have to drive the dinghy and that was huge. So we are gonna go clean all the fish, um, have a dinner. We don't have any cold beers, but <laughs> yeah, we don't think ahead in that area. But epic night, epic, epic, epic sunset spring mission. Felt so good to be in the water. What do we got? So we got Hoggy, Hoggy, Lobster, Grouper, Black Margate, and Schoolmaster. We did pretty good. And Sargasm. <laughs> automatically grab it with all the little... <laughs> I'm so happy about this. <laughs> it's very graphic. <laughs> <laughs> sort of let it work its way in. spearing mission um, I got content of the grouper but I really need to get used to this head strap thing it just felt too heavy so I didn't really video much but it's a good hour in the water um, three hogfish one grouper and so last year Pepe who I went diving with he got my spear taken by a shark and this year he <laughs> the hogfish behinds put a hole in my dinghy so He'll be over with patching stuff soon, but meanwhile we now have, I'd say dinner. We have enough fish to complete the protein part of the dinner for at least like 35 to 45 people. So we're gonna do one last spearing session tomorrow morning with some people who are will be completely done competing. 
and I'm super stoked for this party. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I've had two great days in the water. I haven't had that in so long. Usually I'm top man. And even just with two people, we can drift and hold on to the dinghy. And if someone gets a fish, one of us just takes over the dinghy and make sure we, yeah, I don't know. It's just so nice being in the water experience. And I feel good. Oh. Made it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> We've got just a few veg and all the dry ingredient here. And there's still a lot more to come. So. <laughs> Think we got enough? Oh no no no, this is that's a good case of here. So Hello. How's it going? Oh, just hag one. Oh. For this, Thank you. this one for this. Oh, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Voila. Start prep going. Oh, oh, this is a video. Good, I can tell the whole story. They're working me to the bone out. I, I, my fingers are pruny. I've been steering boats and washing potatoes. So I can, <laughs> these potatoes are taking forever to clean. <laughs> Make fun of an Irish man and his potatoes. Yeah. Rude. <laughs> How much quinoa is this? This is all the quinoa on the island. Literally all the quinoa we can buy. Guys, oh, what hour are we on? How many knives does what? it take to chop some garlic? Uh, what this hour is now a haunted house, actually. <laughs> Today is the day of the VB party. We have about 10 fish so far. I am absolutely exhausted. We've been going for four weeks non stop with guests on board, and it has been so great to spear. Um, I've gotten two days in the water and been able to spear quite a bit and not have to worry about the dinghy too much and today will be day three at 10.45 I'm going to pick up some people to go spearing again. Um, yesterday we got a hole popped in my fairly new dinghy so that kind of sucks a little bit but I think we can get it patched up pretty well. I need to make sure I can get air in it and it stays. That's my next mission. I'm exhausted just working. I have so many unread emails, but starting tomorrow, I have 10 days of grinding. So starting tomorrow, there will be boat work. Um, it's a lot of minor stuff, but I think I'm going to do just some time lapse and take you with me through it. Um, getting back to what y'all came here for. But I will be trying to film tonight. I think it's going to be super fun. The athletes have worked so hard, and hopefully we can have a good celebration for them. But right now, this is what my life looks like. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm on coffee cup number six today, so...
here at the, the Blue and in doing so raise It is the day after the party. We are going to go clean and eat cake. We saved a chocolate cake for ourselves. Admit all this chaos of the past few days. Hence probably why there's not a lot of videos. Um, one of the hogfish spines got the dinghy. So thank God it is keeping air a little bit. I have the pump in here. Uh, Jeannie's getting a whole new thing to play. I'm gonna work on the carburetor tomorrow. Do a real patch. So great thing about Highfield is they send a little patch kit just in case with the dinghy. So I'm gonna fix that tomorrow. But we need to clean today. <laughs> 